Hi everybody. Despite sharing a name with the rocket-powered aircraft, BMW's X1 and Bells are unlikely to be confused. We are confident that interior mood lighting and the option of a powerful Harman slash Kardon 12 speaker stereo were luxuries that Chuck Yeager would have valued. The BMW X1 is a pleasant small SUV that provides an appealing entry point into German brand motoring, in contrast to his radical experimental plane. Even if you drop it from AB29's belly, it won't break any records or barriers. Recently, BMW Skunk Works have been experimenting with striking interior and exterior design elements. The X1 has a smooth exterior and a small, almost square kidney grille, which contrasts with the most recent BMW lineup's nostrils that are flared. Even though it is still BMW's smallest SUV, the X1 is nearly the same size as a first-generation BMW X3 now in its third iteration. It is 1.7 inches longer, taller, and almost an inch wider than the all-wheel drive version from last year. The track width is 0.8 inches wider and the wheelbase is 0.9 inches longer. The end result is more interior space and a bulldog-like posture. Even in sport mode, there is some turbo lag, which contributed to the relatively choppy 6.6 second acceleration from 0 to 60 miles per hour. The estimated fuel economy from the EPA is 28 mpg combined, 25 mpg city, and 34 mpg highway which is about 2 to 3 mpg more than the all-wheel drive model from last year. However, despite pushing the X1 hard on the mountain roads of Southern California, our average mpg was only 23. All-wheel drive is now standard on the X1 for 2023, which is a significant change. The majority of driving tasks are performed by the front wheels during easy driving, but if traction is lost, power moves to the rear wheels. Powerfully, the X1 is enjoyable to drive, hurrying joyfully around corners. Because of its small size, it works well on narrow roads and, once you're done, narrow parking spaces. Neither the brake pedal nor the steering wheel provide a lot of feedback. Despite this, our test vehicle generated 0.86 g of grip on the skid pad and required 167 feet to stop from 70 miles per hour on its optional 20 inch summer tires. Regarding screens, the X1 single curved display panel extends from the center of the dash to behind the steering wheel. The right side displays navigation, music, and phone interfaces, and modes provide a variety of instrumentation designs. Sadly, the only way to control the climate system and seat heaters is through the screen, which is a long stretch for the driver and those of us seated far forward. The sound system can be changed from the steering wheel but you have to look at the screen to turn off the heated steering wheel or change the air conditioner fan, which is never a good idea while driving. The sport seats were available in our test vehicle. They are significantly strengthened for a commuter SUV. Although the seat was comfortable and easily adjustable, the cushioning was too firm for a long drive which is when one's posterior bones will quickly show. The back seats are likewise firm, and travelers might find the back rest point excessively leaned back, albeit the laid back shape makes introducing a kid seat simpler. There is ample cargo space, 
with 26 cubic feet behind the rear seats and 57 cubic feet with the seats folded and a side net for small items. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment below and let us know what you thought of the video. We'll see you in the next one.